Yo, what is going on you guys? It's Young Cards here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to assign drum kits to your MIDI keyboard or the MIDI pads on your MIDI keyboard. So I got this request from one of my subscribers, Mini Ace. He suggested that I do a video on this for y'all today and I thought it'd be a great idea. So as you can see, we got a camera over here that's recording the MIDI keyboard itself. So I can show you some things on how to program your uh, MIDI pads with drum kits. All right, so without any further ado, here we are in FL Studio. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up FPC and then go ahead to presets and set it to empty. And now you have an empty uh, FPC uh, preset. And then from here, we need to calibrate our pads on our MIDI keyboard. So make sure, if you're using the Akai MPK Mini, make sure you are set to bank A. And how would you know that? Well, it will light up green. That's how you know that you're on bank A. All right, so click this arrow, click on map notes for entire bank. And then you're gonna press each and every pad in reverse order. And you may notice on the Akai MPK Mini, it's labeled pad one, pad two, pad three, pad four in reverse order. So that's how you would know if you're using the Akai. All right, so we calibrated bank A, but now we need to calibrate bank B. So I'm gonna press bank B on the MIDI keyboard. And I'm gonna repeat the same process. Pad one, pad two, pad three, pad four, and so on. All right, so now we've calibrated our MIDI pads within FPC. So I'm gonna switch back to bank A and now we can start dropping some of our drums into the MIDI pads themselves. So I'm gonna to go to my essentials. I'm gonna to go to this Gucci kit. I'm gonna throw in a, an 808, a clap. Um, let's get a snare. There we go, nice snare right there. Got some, got a hi-hat right there. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate those sounds for bank A, and then for bank B, I'll demonstrate the kicks. So you'll kind of get the gist of how this works. All right, so I'm just gonna demonstrate all these sounds for you. All right, so we're in bank A. So in bank A, you can only play this pad, that pad, that, 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 all right? And then in bank B, you can play the rest up top. This, 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 all right? And remember, when you press bank on your MIDI keyboard, green means bank A, red means bank B if you're using the Akai MPK Mini. So let me show you how this works. So we got our 808. Clap, snare, hi-hats. Hi all right, now we're gonna go to bank B and play our sounds like the kick. All right, so that's how that works. And then one other thing to take note of is with the 808s, or if you wanna do this to all, all of your sounds in FPC, you can cut itself by setting this cut to zero and cut by to zero. So your 808 won't overlap, for example. Yep, so that's how that works, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you program your drum kits into your MIDI pads on your MIDI keyboard, and that's all I have for you guys today. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social networks, links in the description below, and don't forget to buy my Mars MIDI kit if you're interested in that. Link will be in the description as well. And that is all for me today, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.